So I'll show you the liquid a little bit closer up and it's time to taste. Hi there culture eaters! How are you guys doing? Today is part two of the green almond liqueur. I posted about six weeks ago the process of making this recipe. I'm going to link to that right now so you can go and check it out. And I have been leaving that to macerate for six weeks on the windowsill and I made sure to shake it every single day. I will show you during this video some little montage updates of shots or little videos that I took during the six past weeks. And guess what? I got to bottle it. I strained it and I bottled it. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that as well. So let's go to the video now and you can see the straining process. And here we are at the end of week one. And as you can see, right away we are starting to get a nice darker browner color. Here we are at week two. As you can see, it's gotten darker and a little more like an amber color. Our green almond liqueur has been macerating for six weeks and we are ready to bottle it. I am going to filter out the green almonds. First, I'm gonna do it with a bigger jar because I don't want to lose any by filtering it with the solids right away into my skinny bottle. And we will pour this slowly and get everything out, every last drop. So here we have the leftover pulp. Here is our gorgeous liqueur. We are ready to bottle it. So let's pour it in. I have a funnel here, which I will line with some cheesecloth just to collect any sediments. We will place that on top of the bottle and slowly pour this in and drain it. As you can see, I've got my bottle filled up pretty much all the way to the top. Isn't that a gorgeous bottle? I'll give you a nicer shot after. All we need to do is find the lid. Like I said, keep the vodka that you bought to use your liqueur so you already have a bottle for it. And there we go. We got our first bottle done. So I've kept a little glass for me to be able to do a tasting right away. I have filled out the leftover amount, which was pretty flush in a separate jar and I will put a lid on this as well. So here, one more time, is the almond meal. So don't throw these out when you're done. You can, uh, actually, you can just snack on them. You know, it's like, it's like when you eat the uh, fruit in a punch after it's been like sitting around for a few hours. Well, this is like kind of a really nice little snack as well, or, you could chop them up fine and then put them in a cake recipe as well. I've done that. Like just take a basic white plain vanilla cake and add like two cups of this stuff in your batter before cooking and it tastes really good. I've done it with pistachios. This is the bottle of a nice pale amber color. I got a little more than two bottles. Here in Canada, our big bottles are 750 millimeters. So I filled this up completely and this I will leave to sit for one year and yes I can be that patient. I'm really sorry where Florida you said that six weeks ago the party would be at my place Eh, we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer but since I have a little extra I put the remaining about a little bit over a cup about 250 millimeters in a separate jar from this, I'll be able to test it along the way to see how the flavor develops. And I will do my taste testing. So where Florida in a year, you can come over and I'll try this if you happen to be in Montreal. So I'll show you the liquid a little bit closer up and it's time to taste. Interesting, it's, it's not as bitter as I expected, but there's a, there's a fresh harshness to it. Like, 
there's just a harshness an edge to it that that i think that's what's going to mellow over time it's it's not as sweet as i expected but it's definitely a liqueur and and it tastes fresh it really tastes like a fresh green almond it has nothing to do with like amaretto it's not like super really heavy in taste this is much smoother and much more refined that you could say you should wait a minimum at least of four months before you taste it so that the flavors have time to mellow out a little bit you can read about the traditions originally it's walnut liqueur made called nocchino and you can read about it in the blog post that i will link below in the descriptions and then I will taste the actual bottle in one year and I will do a follow-up video in a year from now. Make sure to like this video, to subscribe, and there will be plenty of fun videos to come soon. Until then, I say bye and I'll cheer you one more time. Bye. Mmm. Very good.